Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up to try and finish all 31 drawings of Inktober in one single day. I'm probably not gonna make this, am I? By the off chance you don't know what I'm talking about, Inktober is an annual art challenge during the month of October. Artists make a drawing a day based on a prompt list that changes every year. So doing 31 drawings in one single day, it is kind of a stupid idea. But paint is content, so here we go. And on that note, enjoy the video. So I woke up early and was very excited to discover the prompts of this year's Inktober. So, first prompt, gar... G uh, gargoyle... Gargoyle. Gargoyle. I had to look up some images of this first prompt. After a little search, it was clear. Horns, big ears, scary teeth, all features of this creature that looks kinda ugly. And I really did my best to make it ugly, but in the most beautiful way possible. So then after adding a little background to make the drawing pop and set the scene, the job was done. Oh, and did I tell you I'm leaving the drawings in pencil just to save some time during this challenge. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It's almost 11 a.m. now, which means the drawing took around one hour. Okay, the first one, I don't really like it, but I have to leave my inner critic at the door. I have absolutely no time to redraw the bunch until I end up with a design I like. So, I need to continue. I'm fine. I decided to skip the second prompt, which was scurry, and I went straight for the third one, bad. Seemed a bit easier as I could go for a more literal approach here, because I hate to admit it, but I was very rusty and I still was warming up a little. After that, I jumped straight into the fourth prompt, which was scallop, to eventually finish things off with a small drawing for the prompt, flame. Why are all these doodles so time consuming to draw? It is 3 a.m. already and the struggle is real. So we are four drawings in and it is super obvious that time is going to be my worst enemy and my hopes of finishing all 31 drawings it is uh, pretty much non-existent. That's it. As far as the drawings go I am pretty happy with it but I'm still trying to figure things out. For example I've been experimenting with different kind of backgrounds. I'm having a completely black background, a faded one, a border and nothing. But the thing that's kind of bothering me is the fact that I'm taking the prompts very literal and I want to inject a little bit more of a story element to it. So for the next drawing I will have to use a little bit more of what's in here. So I tried to fire up all cylinders of my creative thinking and luckily not much later I had an idea for the next prompt. This one is called Bouquet. I went for this Dali inspired female figure that morphs into my signature doodles and the plan was that the overall shape of the image looks like a face with a bouquet. I like this one and I like how this is more open for interpretation. Next up for the prompt trip, I decided to go for a mushroom. I like it enough, but it's definitely one of the more forgettable drawings of the batch. The same goes for the drawing match. I figured a yin yang symbol seemed appropriate, but it's nothing special. Then came the drawing nest, and luckily this time I was able again to attach a little story to the design. By adding this cracked egg with the bird flying off in the distance, it makes the drawing a whole lot more interesting. It's currently 6 p.m. and I'm actually super exhausted already. After my dinner break, I moved on to the prompt Krabby. And the idea for this drawing, it's a little bit disconnected from the prompt. I thought Krabby, crap, and then this deadliest catch scene with a crab boat popped into my head. So this is the idea I eventually went for. As time was ticking by super quick, I had to rush the drawing quite a bit, but overall, I think it turned out good. The idea itself, it's right up my alley and I wouldn't even mind turning this into a future painting. This drawing took me so long with all these doodles it's actually dark outside now with my last bit of energy i started working on this crazy eagle kind of head for the prompt eagle it's a little bit weird i know but i guess i still like it then it was time for the drawing forget and although this might be the most interesting concept i came up with out of all the drawings it also has the worst application i was clearly doing this with my last bit of energy so i had to throw in the towel after only 11 drawings hmm I get it. As far as the challenge goes of doing 31 drawings in one single day, I took a little bit of an L on that one. 
Nevertheless, doing 11 drawings and my crazy doodle style, it's actually, it's actually quite a lot. Normally I work on big paintings and I often work for months on one single design. So pushing out a little bit more designs out of me, it's actually, it's quite good. And on a personal level, I'm satisfied. Also, if you like my art style, you might want to take a look at my website, bandway.com. There are a lot of original ink drawings for sale on there. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. And I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. There's a big project waiting for me. I'm super excited. So I hope I see you in the next video. Take care.